that, folks. Lever John C. Rosemont, California. What's going on, guys? It's a little after 2 o'clock in the morning. It is. Hang on. I got a dog going crazy. Well, sorry about that. I'm going to deal with a dog issue. That's what happens when you uh, live alone and you need constant companionship. So, what did my wandering eyes appear to see? Not of a tiny reindeer, but of a civil war ranging out throughout several states. As predicted, I knew this damn thing was going to happen. I knew this was going to hit us. How was it not going to hit us? How was it? I mean, when you have violent clashes happening all across the country, it's went over here. The one that they picked up most in the press was Washington, D.C. Of course, during the daytime, people have been protesting the Supreme Court findings but not the actual court case or rulings, just findings, saying that they're not going to touch it with a 10-foot pole of Trump's lawsuit, stating that there was voter fraud still. <laughs> Every other district court across the country had been saying, without proof, without actual legitimate proof brought before the court's for them to judge on the merits, they got no pro they've got no choice but to rule against them. It's like trying to prove a train wreck without the train wreck. You said the train wreck was out there, but where's the proof? They didn't have proof. So the courts ruled against them. And the Supreme Court wasn't going to have anything to do with it. Despite the fact that Trump had tried to install three judges in there to make the court conservative enough where he felt it was necessary they were going to protect his ass, he felt. But the court, the Supreme Court of the United States, wasn't going to have anything to do with it. And they were supporting justice across the country. They weren't supporting justice for Trump. This mistake. And the people, the supporters of Trump, including those fine people on both sides, had been clashing left and right. Armed thugs in Washington, D.C., trying to prove their worth, and Trump is the Victor, by going after each other, by going after people left and right. Mainly, what they've reported is going after going after Antifa or anybody else, and cops are busting people left and right. There's been a few injuries, but clashes have been happening in several states. Of course, the news media are going to be going crazy over the damn details of telling you which particular states are. And me, on the other hand, I'm still trying to watch the news this morning on the national level just to see how it's going. I haven't seen what happened out here in the Southland because we haven't had any major issues happening in the Southland. We haven't had any people marching up and down the streets of what's been happening. Even in the conservative areas, in California, there hadn't been any re reports of any massive disturbances. Only in the other states. Nevada has been one of them. Nevada voted for Biden. The ones who actually voted for Biden were the ones getting the clashes left and right. The people keep thinking the votes were tainted somehow. Despite the fact that the officials kept saying, no, we've done everything we did. Recall elections. Audits. We checked and double checked. We had redundancies. We checked them out. Nothing happened. 
but people are going to tell you that they have lied and that Donald Trump was actually the winner. How is he the winner if it's not verifiable? If a lot of people had said that they got sick and tired of Trump's attitude and mouth, but now we've got this civil war going on. And several days ago, from the state within this, within this time period, we've got officials in Texas threatening to secede the union because the vote didn't go their way, because it didn't go Trump's way, because they felt they got cheated when they got certified. This coming Monday, the Electoral College is going to certify every state. That means every attorney general in each state have declared that their votes regardless of who the hell they supported at that point, is accurate. Okay? They are accurate. Sorry, I got hair in my face. That's why I got itchy there. One sec. I had to straighten up the hair a bit. I know, my head, my attention span has been switched over to one of the news networks at this point over here just saying what the hell's going on with the damn pandemic. Despite the fact we're having voter issues still, we still have an ongoing pandemic here. It's still raging across Europe. They're seeing more upwellings concerning about the COVID-19. People are still complaining that the COVID-19 isn't real. At least some of the minorities that the, that the news media keep bringing up left and right, the majority, know that the virus is real and it's still deadly it's still taking people out left and right so in Europe that they're still having issues over this but they're also watching our our voting elections these years this year they're seeing the pattern of how populism has been increasing we voted for populism when we got Donald Trump in, instead of just voting for a system to work. People wanted a change. They got change. They got chaos and confusion. They got division. They got derision at this point over here. They got people blaming each other for a lot of things in their life. And 2020 kicks in. Of course, they blame the number for it. And then they blame everybody else in it. And I'm blaming COVID-19 for taking away businesses left and right. We've got businesses that have been in operation for a lot of decades. A lot of generations have grown to love. And they're closing down permanently because of the COVID-19 striking people left and right. And the thing is, it's not only the disease that's being effect- that's affecting people left and right. It's the people's reaction What I've been trying to say in some of my videos at this point over here to the people out there, it's your reaction that's causing more of the pandemic. What the scientists are trying to tell you and the doctors are trying to tell you to use masks, to distance, and basically the two things, besides washing your hands left and right. But trying to keep some bare basics going so I know they want people indoors more and more to keep the virus from spreading but you know we live in a society where we are totally interdependent upon each other regarding our turn this damn thing off repeat it later regarding our interactions towards each other our commerce globally and locally depend upon each other we are so interdependent that it's scary that something comes across to divide us. But we've already been divided already with our political and our moral and our ethical and our religious viewpoints. We can't see the common good at this point over here. We have to look for our collective asses at this point. We're looking for our individual asses at this point. And now, because of that, 
we have separated it from each other. But we had businesses depending upon our interactions with each other. They want our money. We want their business. They want to keep the community going. We need them in our business. We need them in our communities to keep going, to give employment to other people and keep servicing people. We have to pay them for the services they're giving us. Regardless of what services and businesses they're doing, we're interacting with each other. We're sharing with each other. But because of our own political viewpoints at this point over here, skewing all the medical information going on out there, people don't know what the hell to do or trust or who to listen to. So naturally, they're going to say, oh, hell with it. Don't use a mask. Congregate in large gatherings. Treat it like it, treat it like it's nothing. And then watch all the hospital accounts go crazy. And the, hus- and the local to state officials are reacting to this attitude. <laughs> this is just a regular flu bug we're dealing with. We're dealing with, and flu bug was already dangerous enough as it is for some of those people who are anti-vaccination, I call them anti-vaxxers, they keep claiming that the bug is not, you know, it's nothing to vaccinate against. They still believe in herd immunity. They don't want, they don't want to do it because of whatever reason is going on in our heads, and therefore we still have outbreaks going on. But the COVID kicking in right now is kicking our asses left and right. And yes, you're waiting for me to say something about the vaccinations out right now as it is. Well, all the news medias are trying to cover that one as well. At least most of them anyways. The rest of them are still covering what the hell happened with Donald J. Trump and his mouth of the South and all the other Trump volunteers out there who are believing in him. I've never seen so much devotion and a fascism in, in all my life. Yeah, I did say a fascism. It reminds me too much of Benito Mussolini and the Madero out in Venezuela. And at this point, this is what we're dealing with. The people think Trump's a wonderful human being. And everything happening these days, I'm, I'm surprised we hadn't gotten to a civil war a hell of a long time ago. All of our deep and dark, ugly feelings are out and about. And now we are causing more and more hell and havoc than we've ever caused before. And the COVID is not helping much. It's not on top of the pyramid. It's supporting the pyramid of insanity we're dealing with right now. People would blame the year 2020. Well, it's not the year. It's our reactions to what's been happening these days. See, our own reactions are killing us right now. Our thoughts and our reactions, our physical interactions, our decisions, everything we do and say is having a boomerang effect. We're killing ourselves, basically. We have a Civil War conflict we're killing ourselves over it. Over a presidential election that's already over. Over a pandemic that is still waiting for vaccinations to prove their worth. People clashing left and right because they don't like the other person for whatever reason. I said it. We were going to be getting into a civil war. And here we are. We haven't gotten to the point where it's Union versus self, but you know what happened after the world after the uh, Civil War. As much as I learned in history, is Texas still wanted to separate from the Union. They still couldn't. They filed briefs with the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court ruled against them. They couldn't leave the Union. There was nothing in the Constitution that they found that would allow them to do so. But then again, I don't know if there's anything in the Constitution that will allow another state to be joined in there, except it's by federal order. But then again, it would still have to be judged legally for them to leave. And it hasn't happened yet in over a century and a half or more than that. 
So if we're going to be having another civil war considering about states leaving to have another union to support the quote unquote constitution, now we're talking about uh, civil war and we're talking about treason. That's basic. So this is what's been happening. My observations, my viewpoints, as said before in my other videos, I am not an expert in anything. I observe, I'm watching what's going on around me in the world. I know, people are saying I'm reacting to what the media is presenting to me at this point over here. Point taken, because the only thing we're getting right now is information for the media these days. People claim that they don't trust the media, but they'll go to another source of media. So, my question is, if you don't trust the media, but you're going to but you're going to go through another media, oh, where's the logic in it? You don't trust the government, but you're going to trust the government. You're going to support one side of the government, even though you're saying that you don't support the government. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. A lot of my videos, I've had a few comments left and right, and I appreciate them. I find them very instructive. Others, well, others are pretty damn silent right now as it is, but that's all right. I've wasted too much airspace on the YouTube channels anyway. I'm trying to get my own thoughts in order, and that's why I'm putting them out there in the eventuality that if something happens on my side over here, I wanted my stories to be told. I wanted my thoughts and feelings to be told. Not the finger shaking at people except when I think they need it the most. Because at this point over here, they're not understanding why. And they don't want to understand why. They just want to follow the damn crowd wherever the hell it goes. They're still dealing with the populist wave uh, movement here. And the only thing I can tell you is after it's over and you see the collateral damage around you, are you going to be blaming everybody else for your own damn actions and your own stupidity? Because you wanted to follow the crowd, and yet you wanted to be an individual not following the crowd. But you're following the crowd anyway, who stated that they all want to be individuals, but they're following a crowd. Where's the logic? Who is the sheep now? You guys got to comment, comment. You guys are going to like, like. If you're going to dislike, dislike. And every one of my videos out there. But I'll tell you one thing. I will not shut up. I will continue to observe what's going on. I will continue to say what's going on these days. We're coming up to the nearly the end of the year. In less than about two to three weeks. And everybody keeps hoping that 2021 is going to be better. It's not. We're carrying over what we've already done already. We've already carried over into this year what we've previously done. That's how it works. All the mess and all the junk we've already accumulated in one year is going to be thrown into the next year. One day at a time. It's a reality check. Until we're willing to clean up whatever we've got to clean up in this particular reality here, in this particular time zone at this point over here, we still got next year to deal with. And the next, and then the next, and then the next, and the next. Because that's how it works. So, talk to me, folks.